Well, my car has certainly seen cleaner days. That's okay. You know, Neil gives us like 35 tickets for car wash and for other things. So I'll take it to a car wash at some point soon. There's a squirrel. I heard China didn't have any wild animals or any kind of wildlife. So anyway, somebody asked me before in the comments, what's around the Neo battery changing stations? So here in Hangzhou, at this station, there's a park. A lot of people out here doing the Chinese version of camping. Um, they don't actually camp, they just bring a tent and sit in the park. You know, actually in China, camping is generally illegal. I mean, if there's like a, a designated place where you can register, because anytime you go anywhere, foreigner or Chinese, they register with your ID, your Chinese ID or your passport. So just going out and popping a tent in the, in the woods is not something you can really do. So, but people do like to come out in the park, especially on a hot day like today, and uh, sit in the shade, camp a little bit. Camp, in quotes, um, but it's fun. Actually, in a lot of places too in China, you're not even allowed to go on the grass. So being able to go on the grass here in Hangzhou, that's nice. That's a good thing. So what else is around here? Let's go take a look. Right now, actually, I should be able to swap my battery. There's one person in line and he's going for the 70 kilowatt hour battery. There's a 100 kilowatt hour battery already full. However, it's 1230 right now, 1225. And these guys are on their lunch break which I didn't know that was a thing they, they had. It sounds terrible, but usually in China, like people don't really get breaks from my experience. You, you get a break, but you, you gotta work. Um, especially at a place like this, that's like open, I think 24 hours, this battery swap station. Usually there would be, you know, somebody manning it the whole time. I would assume, but not in this case, not in Hangzhou. I saw the two Neo guys there walking away they're on their break so lunch time they get a half an hour to chill at 12 30 they'll be back um, so here's the neo swap station here's a bunch of neo chargers here's the other neo that's waiting i really like that color all their blue colors neo does are really nice Okay, what else is around here? Some offices. A lady. Here's a um, doctor's study school or something. some sort of hospital thing. It says it's a school, but in English it says medical care center. So I don't know, probably just a training place for doctors or nurses. Got some apartments over there. I don't know, from my experience so far at various Neo swap stations, whether it's Shaman or Shenzhen or now Hangzhou, is they're just part of town. There's, you know, here in the general area of everything else. They're not like a special place. Um, nothing really particularly fascinating around that place. It's just a place, it's just part of the local environment, I guess, the city environment. So I'm not gonna go too much farther. You can see office building, apartments, restaurants, real estate, office, office, office. That medical place, and then the park's just over here. So, so that's it. Hopefully they'll come back from their lunch break very quickly and I can get some power. And then I'm gonna get back on the road to Shanghai. I just left Suzhou Neo House. Drove about 40 kilometers, took about an hour to get to the next city and that's Wuxi. 
Ah, Wuxi. Let me tell you about Wuxi. Okay, Wuxi is a city with like six million people and you never heard of it. And that's because it has like no identity of its own. I've been here a bunch of times. I've been here business trips, um, traveling. It does have some cool stuff, but literally like the actual city itself is like the most bland, basic, cookie cutter. It could be any Chinese city, um, but stuff around it is really nice. Like there's a big lake called Taihu. It's like this nearby. There's lots of wetlands and nature preserves nearby. There's walking trails. It's beautiful. I don't know where I'm going. It's beautiful. But the city itself, man. Unless you just want like Pleasantville, China, uh, go somewhere else. But anyway, I'm here about to go see the Neo house. And that's what's probably important for most of you guys. From what I understand, this is the smallest Neo house in all of China. And I gotta go try to find it. So I saw it when I was driving in, but now I don't know where it is. I believe it was by that hay tea over there, that shicha. So that's probably the right direction. Seems like a pretty high-end mall, so probably a good location, but not too many people. There's a pizza hut across the street. Oh, there it is. Hello. I heard it was the smallest. Yes, it was the smallest. But Wuxi's name is the smallest. It's the smallest. Hello. Is it this one? Yes, it's the smallest. Is it this one? Yes, it's the smallest. What flavor? It's the smallest. It's the smallest. It's the smallest. Can you get it? Yes. Okay, I know. Okay, here at the new house in Wuxi. It looks very cute. It's uh, got local products here, um, peach, so it's a peach drink, and also um, we have uh, yogurt, a frozen um, like yogurt, like not not frozen yogurt, like ice cream, like we have in America, like actually like a frozen blended uh, swan nai, like sour real yogurt. Um, so we have that, and they said you can drink. They said drink this a little bit, and then pour more in. Is that that's how you're supposed to do it? Oh, on the bottom is also ye guo. It's like kind of like pearls and milk tea, um, but they're cubes, and they're not they're not milk tea pearls. They're ye guo, made from coconut, I believe. Nata de coco, according to the translator, a chewy jelly made from coconut water. So that's what's on the bottom of that. So if you ever had milk tea or bubble tea with bubbles, it's a little bit like that. It looks very pretty, it looks good. Also, they gave me gifts. Um, this is a cherry flower. They said they grow cherries here. And, um, and another one of these air fresheners with the Neo logo, just like Sujo. Got the big straw with the big hole in it because uh, just like I said, like a milk tea, bubble tea. That was very good. Very, very good. Sweet, good fresh peach flavor. And the the QQ. QQ is like a like a chewy mouthfeel. In Chinese. Let me try some of this yogurt. Yeah, good. Oh no, I'm spilling everywhere, holy crap. I tried to add the frozen yogurt and I made a disaster. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Neo people. Oh. That's definitely a five star drink. If you like peach, sweet and sour, chewy, QQ mouthfeel, number one.
is the smallest new house in China. All it has is this little dining area and the car showroom. Quite busy, but that's it. <laughs>